Hello everyone, welcome back to another video now. This is the first episode of, not the first episode of the series because we've obviously we've finished all of the theme templates and we are now starting with the gameplay. I'm going to start from the racing and work our way to the Galactic Speedway because there's two missing which I think were for the Bloxy Awards or something like that. I don't know. But I've already, I already made a video about it but it failed because my laptop just turned, died some reason but yeah so we're gonna just get on with the racing now I want to try and make these videos long enough to entertain you instead of just make them like two minutes and say yep yeah, this is the racing course you, you can basically just race that's it goodbye I don't want to do that and that's boring and then you have to basically there's no fun in that there's no point of making the video because then you can just find out yourself by just going on it which you could do you could just do this all yourself Look at all of these yourself, but I prefer doing like this. I find it more fun, and I, I like doing it myself. I like doing this. So, if you want to judge me, you can judge me. But yeah, we're gonna get into the racing cars. I, I already made a video about this, like I said, but it failed. So, we'll get. We're, I'm redoing it. And what I was saying about it is how you could make it like this game. I still can't remember what it was called. Um, but basically, you have to just complete an object or complete the map by doing. Like parkour or complete the up, completing the obby course, or getting to the top of summer, or kill the last person standing, and then, and then the f person who wins it, the first person who wins it, like gets gets like a um, gets to choose who get, who gets sent down to the basement or summer, and they have to complete a different course, and the last person who doesn't complete it, the last person to complete it will die, so. Uh, you could, I was thinking you could make it like that, where basically if you you look at if you the first the last person who makes it dies, and then the 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 three people who didn't make it get a few get points in that. Now I know what you're saying. What like I said in the last video, what's points? You don't need to worry about it. They're very simple to make, and I'll be showing you how to do it. Now, uh, I was also saying how you could make it so you use a currency system, and the, the first two first two people get money. First person also getting more, and the second getting less, getting less than the first, and then you can use it to buy cars. Now, you may be thinking, well, how do I make them buy cars? That sounds very complicated. Well, it is complicated, but you can easily do it by going on YouTube, searching up Alvin Blocks, Alvin Blocks cars, or Alvin Blocks. Just Alvin Blocks, and then go through a channel, and you'll find a car tutorial. I know he has a tutorial on how to make a car UI. So he adds, he adds a um, money, a money like a money currency system, and basically when you when you and you get if you have enough money using a function or using a um, what's it called remote event, um, it fires that event to it fires that event, and when the event's been picked up by something else. It gives you enough money, or it gives it make allows you to buy the car. And basically, when you buy the car, you can spawn it infinitely without having to buy it again, which I think is really cool. And the GUI looks very sick. So I was going to use it for my Street Life game, which is going to be like a jailbreak GTA style game, and it's going to use like a like I think Mad City uses a phone, don't they? Like your phone GUI or something. I was going to make. I was going to use that. I was going to try and make my own version and have it so you can spawn cars using a spawn, uh, buying spawn game pass like in Jailbreak and basically that it would use that and also if you went to a garage or somewhere else it would also use that. So very cool, I do like the concept of it, um, I do think it's very cool, Alvin Blocks is, is, Alvin Blocks is a very underrated Roblox developer, you should definitely check him out, subscribe to him. We make really good tutorials and they also make videos on how to make games but apart from that let's get actually into what this is so in this server script service we have a race script which I'm guessing is just like a script for for the racing yep as you can see it's very big something that Roblox would know how to code since they've, they, they would have had to learn Lua themselves which is what Roblox Studio uses uses a language called Lua um, yeah, so this, um, what I was also saying in another video is, I was, I, when I first 
got Roblox I Studio, I started to make a game called The Journey, and I thought it was really cool because it used a, a plugin which allowed you to make cutscenes. And then I was gonna, and I made it so when you when you was to, when you click this guy, it would t he would teleport you. Or not click this guy. When you would stand on the pad, it would teleport you to a place, and you'd have to complete it to actually win, which I was gonna use this for. But I just never did it because I because I, I couldn't figure out how to how to do it, so I gave up. Um, and that was like two years, two one year ago, definitely about two years ago. So I was I had no clue what the hell scripting was, how I used it, and I would just either use the toolbox or use tutorials, go on YouTube with tutorials. Which I'm gonna be honest, that is also useful. I'm sure. Not, I'm sure pro developers would also try find tutorials and get help from the Roblox website or some. They wouldn't. They wouldn't just. Not. Not every developer is great. Not every developer always succeeds. Everyone fails at at some point in their life. In their life, so. Yeah, and. Uh, but it's pretty cool, though. Know? So, and I was seeing that you could also with the um. Last person to get here dies. You can make it so they can only spectate, and they spawn in a different area, and then they spectate from there, spectate different players, and then you can buy more cars with the with having blocks of tutorial and get better cars with the more money you have, which I just think is a really cool idea. Um, we're very useful, and you could even you could even like with the oh I forgot to mention with the western map we looked in a few episodes ago. I was going to talk. I was talking about how you could use the horses and some up. And this is what you could use them in. You could make, you could basically, I was saying, if you wanted to make your own game, you could copy this, copy the scripts in that, put it in your own game, and then add the cars, add the cars, and then the, and then the GUI if you're going to do it. Or instead of the cars, add the um, horses, and then use that. Which also could be really cool. Um, so yeah, that's I guess it. I, I, I can't, there's not really much else to talk about. But if you go through it, the course. But for some reason, this did my W. It's making me go very slow in studio. Don't know why. Um, but as you can see, it's a very cool little map, little cool little area. If you was just to make a little racing game. Now these are for f these aren't really for role players, but you could use some of them for role players. But there's not really any you could use for role players, I guess, apart from the current destroy, which I'm gonna, we're going to look at very soon. But yeah, so that was it for this video. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you smash like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, goodbye, everyone.